Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, to the elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. The title of this lesson will be called, I Beg Your Pardon, in Dr. Umar Johnson's voice. What you see on screen, it says, uh, Hebrew uh, prayer request. All right. And uh, wow, you know, to say the least. So this is from um, this is uh, reportedly from the the Sakari group, the, the Sakari camp. And I went, you know, I tried to find, you know, uh, some some secondary information to corroborate this and I couldn't. So uh, hopefully this ain't true. You know, say it ain't so. Uh, Chief Priest Alazar. So, uh, Hebrew prayer request, $25. This service is available to those who are looking for a specific prayer in Hebrew upon purchase. You will be contacted via email for the specifics of your prayer. We will then translate your prayer from English into Hebrew in the Lashawan Kodash dialect. Quantity one. It's a $25 of prayer, so... Okay, uh, so some, the next one, Hebrew name consultation. All right, $15. If you are looking for a Hebrew name for yourself, wife, or children, this is the service for you. Pricing is on a per name basis. So if you are looking for two names, you should add two, two cards. Please make sure you provide your phone number and email at checkout. Quantity one, right? So, um, first scripture came to my head after reading that was uh, this one, right? I'll grab this real quick. I believe it's in the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 22 and 26. It says, uh, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my unholy things. And uh, Sakari uh, Chief Priest Alazar, he really glories in the whole Levitical priesthood, okay, and the, and in the fact that he believes himself to be a Levite because there is no proof that that he is a Levite. All right, there is no proof that you are a Levite. There is no proof that any of us are of the tribes that we say we are. We go, we believe what we are through faith. All right, Genesis forty nine, okay. Um, and the, 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 the scriptures and Deuteronomy, which tells you the characteristics and the attributes that each tribe have, but we don't have a, 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 a genealogy, a direct record. All right. That go all the way back, all the way back to, uh, Aaron. Okay. Uh, uh the sons of Merari, Kohath. Okay. And all the various tribes where you can point it back. That's why the genealogies were so important in the Bible. Because if you couldn't prove what tribe you are, then you wouldn't have any rights. You wouldn't have any citizenship claim. Definitely to the priesthood. You definitely wouldn't have claim to that. Uh, 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 fiddling around in the temple and, and ain't nobody sure about your genealogy. And the tribes are mixed amongst each other. Yeah, and we, we believe uh, the Haitians to be the tribe of Levi, but that don't mean every single Haitian is a Levite. That don't mean every single person who calls himself a Haitian, who great-great-granddaddy was a Haitian, so-called, maybe they're a Judite. Maybe they're a Benjamite. Hell, maybe they're an um, a Asherite. The tribes did intermingle and mix among, the, among each other as well. So... It says, uh, they have put back in Ezekiel 22 and 26, they have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profaned among them. So how is you any different? All right. From, uh, these so-called Christians that we get on, that the Israelites get on these Christian pastors. Benny Hinn and Joel Osteen and their predecessors, 
where you watch them on TV and they send you the phone number and you call them and send them money for prayer. And you call them and send them money for, for, for a healing or a miracle. It's the same thing. The most high don't like a hypocrite, man. I'm going to grab, I'm gonna, let me see how many times the word hypocrite pop up in the scripture. Hypocrite. All right. Uh, Job 13 and 16. He also shall be my salvation. Uh, Yahweh Shai. For an hypocrite shall not come before him. So you're not going to stand in that day towards Yahweh Shai. At least thou repent. Anybody. You can't be a hypocrite. All right. It, 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 there must be something in your mind compelling. There must be some sort of integrity, some... You know what I mean? The scripture speaks about a good name. All right. The scripture speaks about having a good name, uh, having a, a, a honest report, you know, and then you fall or whatever. But it got to be something in you like, no, I can't be seen like that. I'm a I'm a representative of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I, I stand for something. But this is this is pure hypocritical if it's true. But considering the things associated with this particular individual in this camp, it it, it it lines up. All right? You needed so much X amount of money for camera equipment or whatever. And you 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 reached that limit 11 times, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, you you put out an APB that you needed what 9,000 for camera equipment, you end up getting 90 some thousand. All right? Why didn't you just why did you just go out and work? Why didn't you just ask your members in particular or your to, to pull together and get it done? Let me see. Uh, Job 27 and 8. For what is the hope of the hypocrite? Though he hath gained right money. When God, when the most High take it away his soul. Yeah, when you got an answer for the wrong you did while you was down here on earth. All right. All right. Uh, Isaiah 9 and 17. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. And as a as a nation. We 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 facing the wrath of the most high for everyone is an hypocrite and evildoer and every mouth speaketh folly for all this. His anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. All right. And this is how shy uh, Matthew six and two. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets. Right. Yeah, uh, uh, you making your good deeds known to the world. Are we going that people go out and feed the homeless and, and, and film it, put it on camera that they may have glory of men. So, yeah. So people be like, oh, look what they doing. It says very last sense to you. They have their reward. OK. Then, the mo you know, you have a shot start start going into it. OK. Uh, I'll read Matthew 22 and 18. But Yahweh shall perceive their wickedness and said, why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Why tempt the Lord, man, being hypocritical? All right. Why? 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 Why, why do this? <laughs> Look, and then on, on another note, people got to stop being gullible, man. But the, but the most I said, look, the scripture's true. It says the deceived What's that, Job? Let me see. I think that's Job 14 and 5. What was it? Uh, 13. All right, let's do it like this. Uh, Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom, the most high. How about Shimei Shai? The deceived and the deceiver are his. So both are in the most high's hand. The, the people that's doing the deceiving, lying, 
and also the people that's getting caught up in it and that believe the lies. Look, if you that stressed and, and you that uh, what's the word tight? The you know the 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 new speak. If you that tight about having a Hebrew name, well look it up. Ooh, I like Caleb. I wonder what his name mean in Hebrew. Go go do your own due diligence. Go to the Bible app. Type in Caleb. Click on it. Go to Caleb. Let them say it. Strong's H thirty six twelve. Kalev. Kalev. That's wrong. But learn the alphabet. All right. This is the Assyrian Hebrew from right to left. It's the Ka, the La, and the Ba. And it's a Kalab. All right. And there you go. You got your Hebrew name. Oh, your wife. Oh, you like you like the name uh uh I don't think I want Sarah. Same thing. Go to Sarah, type it in, and do the same thing. Some of but see, you know, Paul, some people gonna get caught up, you know, uh, foolishly, just ignorantly. All right. But and other people gonna get caught up in the most high gonna have mercy on them and bring them out of that anyway. But some people just gotta use their head, man. You gotta use some sense. Like the elder from um um, Dallas say, Elder Ariales says, use your head for more than a hat rack. And praying for a Hebrew name. Some mean, come on, man. How, come on, man. Anyway, but but Paul said it though. Oh, Paul, who they don't who they don't deal with. Paul's uh, Paul's writings are not authoritative. All right, but Paul said it. And uh, was this Paul? I don't, Salaki, this might not be Paul. Let me see. Okay, this is Paul, Salaki. So when you read this, this is Acts 20, right? This is verse, this is Acts 20 and 28. Now, this is Paul exhorting the leadership. OK. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost have made ye overseers. All right. So this is the leadership that he's talking to. Like, look, you in charge of other men. So you got to take heed to yourself. Make sure you on point. Make sure you're not being a hypocrite. OK. And you got to you got to look toward them, too. All right, because one thing about sheep, sheep are, you know, somewhat gullible. All right, they need a shepherd. It says uh, to feed the church of the most high, which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter among you, not sparing the, the flock. Acts 20 and 29. Let me let me go in here so I can grab uh some definitions. I, I want to see what grievous mean in the Greek, what they got for that. Acts 20 and 29. Grievous wolves. Not just a regular old wolf. And a wolf, man, a wolf is a hell of a predatory animal. All right. Uh, Barus, maybe. Heavy in weight, burdensome, severe. Violent, cruel, unsparing. All right, here it is, and I always had, I always had, a, me personally, it, but it ain't about me. But just to give you an example, some of my spirit, I always had a problem with people asking money for so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the poorest group in society, in American society, the most downtrodden, beat down, abused, neglected, forsaken group. All right. And you and you asking them for money. Now, if, you know, certain things happen, you know, you get together and you collect money from certain brothers that might be in need or whatever. That's different. All right. But the Bible says buy the truth and sell it not. OK, so basically you're supposed to sacrifice to get the knowledge. And then when you get the knowledge, you give it away for free. 
You sacrifice your time, your effort. You spend money on books and you read the extra little books that corroborate the history of the scriptures. All right. You sacrifice time to study. And then once you do that, then you you give away what you learn for free. That's what the scripture. That's what the Bible said. We all reading the Bible, right? The Bible say buy the truth and sell it not. Matter of fact, let me grab that. Just to show it. Proverbs 23 and 23, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. All right. And you and you buy the truth and you you keep it. You don't you know, it ain't like, oh, I'm going on hard times. Let me, you know, get this away. You know, let me go pawn it. No, you keep it. But also you uh, you uh, freely give what you have freely received. All right. You weren't charged for the truth. You started out in GMS. I used to watch you when I was first learning and coming in. You was a you was a part of Great Millstone. And you was teaching and on uh, on fire teaching. You can't say that the elder start you didn't get charged for no breakdowns. You didn't get charged for no prayer. You didn't get charged to learn the Hebrew and understand the uh the Hebrew, the Lashawan Kadat uh Kodash. Freely give. Well, you have freely received. Pull that up on screen too. So that could be that scripture been, can be seen. This the words of Yahweh Yahu Shai. All right, Matthew ten and five. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, "Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not." But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So here it is. Our nation of people is lost, right? And you going, you going to charge them or you going, how you going, <laughs> you know, I don't even know how to properly really word that right now. It says, and as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick for free. You heal the sick for free. If anybody need prayer, uh, <laughs> and then they had the nerve to say they 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 made. Let me pull that back up. I got it in my screenshot. I got it in my screenshot. If this true, like I said, I hope it ain't. But through the other, the, you got a, you got a track record of 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 where this will fit. It said, uh. What is that? Um, ignore the pillow that was on the floor. Whatever. It says, uh, this service is available for those who are looking for a specific prayer in Hebrew. Upon purchase, ye will be contacted via email for the specifics, for the specifics of your prayer. We will then translate your prayer from English into Hebrew in the Lashon Kadash dialect. Quantity one. All right, so you you got to pay for each prayer now. You know, <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's bugged out. I don't even know if I seen something like that from IUIC. It says, "Heal the sick for free." I'm gonna add, cleanse the. I ain't add to the scriptures, but it's gonna it's gonna say that. It says, "Cleanse the lepers." Raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. All right? You don't charge you don't charge that, man. You ain't supposed to do that, bro. You know better than that, bro. Do you still believe? Like what is you what is you <laughs> can't. All right? Acts 20 and 30. Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Uh, uh, Alazar was a part of Great Millstone. He arose and left, got some men, got his own congregation. And now he speak perverse things. Paul's writings are not authoritative. They're not scriptural. We don't have to follow them. Okay, that's just one. Yahweh Shai is not to be worshipped. 
All right, they prophesied with their heads covered. Hell, not too long ago, I was maybe two years ago. Uh, they they had a uh, 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 you know scantily clad women at the Passover. They they came up well you know they said apologized or repented or came up with an excuse for whatever reason. Oh, we rented the venue, but they still well you should have been more circumspect about that. All right, so you that's that's still a fail. You should have been well more circumspect about that. You're going to rent a venue. You, you rented a strip club, rented some space out in a strip club. OK, that's strike one. All right. No, that's really strike two. But damn, you ain't had a the, the provision, even if you would do that, which you ain't supposed to do. That's not wise. But let's say you did it anyway. You ain't got the wherewithal to make sure it don't spill over into the section you rented out or. The, the the room or the the room area you ain't had it come on man all right and really that's that 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 was that was really the point so with that Lord willing this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect all praises glory and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kakodah Shalom.